What is up, everybody? This is my very first time ever going live, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but y'all bear with me. The whole idea of going live is this is how I want to shoot my podcast for now. So instead of just recording it and then edit it and post and then post it later, I want to start doing them live. This way I can give a little bit more value so y'all can kind of tune in with me and we can we can do the same together. So it'd be more fun for, for everybody. I've never been live before. This is my first time, so y'all bear with me. I'll probably get a little, a few little hiccups every now and then, but y'all, y'all hang in there. So today, what I want to talk about is just my story and how I got into fitness. Like what, what started it all, why I like it, why I enjoy it so much, and also why you should do it. Basically, when I first started working out, it was my freshman year of high school, and I did it because we had to for sports. I mean, I. That's just what you do in high school when you play sports. You you work out a lot. We did a lot of strength training, a lot of conditioning, stuff like that. But it's not really what I do now. I've kind of transitioned away from that. But that's kind of what got me started. Uh, I knew as soon as I put on a little bit of weight and I saw a little bit of progress in the gym, got a little bit stronger, I was immediately hooked. It didn't take me long. As soon as I started working out there, I immediately got a gym membership at the local gym, the Y, if you in Sarah Land. And I started going like literally five days a week. And I've done that ever since then. So it's been like, I think 10 years now. Yeah, this year will be 10 years I've been working out. So it's been a long journey. I've had lots of ups and downs. I've learned a lot. I've done a lot of the wrong things. I've done a lot of the right things. Hey, we're still here. We're still doing it. I'm still learning each and every day. Uh, that's the one thing about fitness. You'll never, you'll never master it. There's no way. There's too much stuff that goes on. So I just like being a student of the game, learning something new each and every day. It's fun. Obviously, if you follow me, you've probably seen a lot of the content I've put out lately. I've been trying to get more into the whole online social media game thing. It's kind of, I mean, it's big nowadays. It's taking off. So we uh, we just playing around with it, seeing what we can do. I'm enjoying it so far. I have mad respect for people that edit videos, so like YouTubers and stuff. Mad respect because that junk is hard. They make it look easy. It's not easy, trust me. You go film a video and try to edit it and make it look good. It's hard, trust me. So, mad respect to all the YouTubers out there. <laughs> I wish I could do what some of y- what some of y'all do with y'all's editing and video skills and stuff. But we learning. I'm getting better. I'm starting to learn a little bit. I just been editing on my phone, on little apps on my phone. So nothing crazy, just simple edits. But eventually, I'm gonna learn how to do it on the computer and try to get a little better with it. But we're taking baby steps. We're gonna get there. But yeah, what we're gonna talk about is just what I did in high school. So we basically did power lifting basically to get you stronger we did compound lifts so basically like full body lifts we did a lot of squats bench pre- bench presses snatch power cleans kind of like olympic lifting These are gonna make you really strong they're gonna put muscle mass on you pretty much everywhere they're not gonna ma- necessarily make you big so like not you're not gonna get big like a bodybuilder because they don't do these kind of workouts bodybuilders do isolation exercises so that's kind of what i do now i've kind of transitioned to the bodybuilding style your typical like bro split that you would do you know push pull legs or you would do chest and tries back and buys legs that's what i do now uh, i've kind of transitioned away from the whole athletic training because i'm not an athlete no more so i just do this for fun and i don't feel like absolutely destroying my body every day <laughs> like i did back in high school it's a lot of it's a lot harder to recover nowadays now my my body's a little older and a little aged but yeah, I'm still enjoying it. I like to switch it up every now and then. I mean, I do throw in some squats and bench presses. I throw a power clean in there every now and then just to switch it up, just to do something different. So I'm not just sitting there doing bicep curls every day. What I suggest is when you're first starting out, start easy. Like start light. You got to think of it this way. When you, if you're not doing anything, if you're not working out at all, your body's not used to doing any kind of like extra work. So as soon as you start working out, you're going to like shock your body. Your body's going to go, you're going to be like, what? Your body's going to be like, what are you doing to me? So this is why I did highly discourage beginners to go into the gym and just start lifting weights immediately. Like that's probably the, not the best route for you to go. Yeah, you can. That's what I did. Um, and it worked for me, but I would say that's what you should do. I would suggest starting out body weights. Body weight training is probably the best thing you can do starting out. Also, you can incorporate like some bands. You can do like 
the cables, the machines, all the machines in the gym, those are good to start with because you're not going to hurt yourself. You you literally can only do the machine one way. And I mean, I'll take that back. You probably can hurt yourself, but you're less likely to hurt yourself doing the machines than you are doing free weights. Because the machines can only move along one one path. When you do free weights, they can go anywhere. So when you first starting out, don't necessarily jump into all doing all the free weights and stuff because that's what you see on the internet and that's what looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. I understand. And you want to do that, but we're going to work our way up to that. You're going to get to that eventually. If you don't know me, I went to Auburn University. I was actually a cheerleader in college. Uh, this whole time I was in college, I, I kept working out the whole time. It's kind of what kept me going, what kept me on schedule. It's kind of how I it helped me get through like, you know, college, you got a lot of stress and stuff. You know, you got classes, you get overwhelmed, you got tests to study for. So the gym is kind of like my escape. That's how I escaped all that stuff. When I knew I was at the gym, I was strictly at the gym. I wasn't worried about doing homework, wasn't worried about studying. I was just in there pushing my body, trying to get better. So uh, I enjoyed it. That's what I kind of did to keep my body in shape, keep my mind in shape. Yeah, that's basically through college. Now, after college, you could always say I was kind of serious about working out. I mean, I did. I worked out five days a week for several years at this point, and I would say I was serious, but I wouldn't say I was like super passionate about fitness. After I graduated college, I don't really know what happened, but something just clicked and I, I became passionate all of a sudden. And I I just really like, like I really started taking this serious. I really enjoyed it. I guess it's because I wasn't doing sports anymore. In high school, I did sports all the way through. College, I did sports all the way through. So I always had something on my mind. You know, I always had something to keep me busy. But then after I graduated, I'm no longer doing sports. I'm not an athlete anymore. So I think that's kind of how or why I kind of became so passionate about fitness because I kind of use that as my as my new escape, like I something my new thing to keep me busy, keep me going, keep me keep me pushing. So yeah, that's why I kind of got into fitness. And then I realized one day I'm sitting at work, you know, working on the computer, doing my nine to five job, and I realized, hey, yeah, this is cool for now, and I make money, it pays the bills, but I don't see myself doing this forever. Like I don't see myself working a nine to five doing what other people tell you to do forever it's just not kind of the path that i wanted to go so sitting at a desk all day that's kind of boring so i decided i want to do fitness i want to i want to pursue fitness as a career that's my goal i want to eventually it would probably be a few years down the road i know but eventually it's the, the idea and the goal is to is to get away from the nine to five and do strictly fitness full time so that's why i became a personal trainer uh, i did personal training at crunch at Crunch Fitness for about three months. I uh, quickly realized that I didn't have time to do it. It was way too much. I literally went to work at 5 a.m. in the morning for my nine to five job. And then I didn't get off of work from Crunch until 8 p.m. at night. So it was just a little too much for me to do. So I finally quit. I quit doing the whole in-person training thing. Uh, I enjoyed it while I was there. It was a good time. Uh, I learned a lot in just that short amount of time. Learned how to how to like connect with people, you know, help people that's never done fitness before. So that was some good, good experience. But now recently I have taken that on personal training to the online side of things. So now I do strictly online personal training. Uh, basically how it works is everything's run through an app. I give you a nutrition plan. I give you a workout plan. I give you main thing of it is accountability. So I'm checking in on you every week anytime you have a question about something you can reach out to me i'll get back to you um i'm i'm your biggest supporter i basically just support you build a community for you to hang out in to to have others that are on the same goal same mission same journey as you y'all can kind of push each other y'all can help each other uh, we do all that in the facebook group so that's basically how i do my whole online fitness training thing it's there's a lot more to it than that that's just kind of the, the basic gist of it but yeah i'm getting that up and running so eventually once I get enough clients and I can figure out how to make it more sustainable in the systems and stuff like that, then eventually that's the goal. I want to do that full time. Uh, and then I also want to get into more of like the content game. I want to produce more, more content. I've been messing around with the reels and TikToks and stuff a little bit, but eventually my goal is to get into YouTube. I want to do YouTube. I just always like YouTube. I really have. I'm a big YouTube fanatic. Like I don't even watch TV. If I'm at home, instead of turning on TV to watch Netflix or something, I, I turn on YouTube and I watch YouTube. 
I don't know why. That's just what I that's what I do. I feel like I learn a lot from YouTube. Anything you want to know is on YouTube. YouTube is literally the second largest search engine in the world. Number one is Google, and then number two is YouTube. So that's why I don't know. I like it. People people put out some good content. They they they're very creative, and it kind of it makes me want to be more creative. It makes me like strive to be better like that. So I do. I get a lot of inspiration from YouTube. I watch a lot of fitness stuff on YouTube as well. That's how I've learned. Literally everything I learned in fitness is off of YouTube, or sometimes even Google. But anytime, I, like all the way through high school, college, especially how I learned how to do all my workouts and stuff, I just watch people on YouTube. Uh, one of my favorites is Athlean X. He's 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 got like 13 million subscribers or something. He's he's got some good stuff. If you wanted to get like science based workouts and stuff like that, he he's very good on that. He's very educational. So yeah, that's just kind of my story. That's kind of how I started. I've always been a real skinny guy and I've always tried to put on muscle. I've never done the opposite. I've never been overweight and try to lose muscle. But with that being said, I've been in the fitness game so long now that I know I know how to lose weight. Like I know the things you need to do to lose weight just because it's all kind of the same principle. It's to lose weight or to gain weight, you kind of do the opposite of each other. Uh, you're even doing some like the same workouts and stuff. I have a good gist of how to do both. So shout out to the people that's on the live. I don't know, how, I don't even know how to work it. So I don't know who's all out there. I don't know who's watching. I really, I need to play around with this and see. I need to play around with this and see how to uh, how to work this. But it's my first live. So we just gonna, we just gonna try it out. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out as we do. I'm gonna do more of these. Like I said at the beginning, this is how I wanna do my, my podcast. So. Instead of just recording my podcast and posts and then editing it and then posting it, I just want to do it live so I can spread some more value to y'all. We can hang out, have a good time. And then after, I'll kind of chop it up a little bit, and post it on online. So if you haven't checked out my podcast, it's called the Fitness Beginner Podcast. It's on any any platform that you listen to your podcast. So Apple, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, Pandora, all that kind of stuff. It's on there. Google Podcasts. It's all there. So y'all give it, y'all give it a try. I only have seven episodes right now, but my goal is to do one a week. So we're getting we're getting more out there. So y'all, y'all keep an eye out on it. Watch it. You'll learn some good stuff. Put some good value in there. If you if you haven't started your fitness journey, I strongly suggest you do. If you don't know how to start your fitness journey, reach out to me. I would love to help you. Uh I'm literally a personal trainer, that's what I do. I help people get fit. So if you if you need some help building muscle, if you need some help losing weight, reach out to me. I would I would love to help you. Uh, I mean, there's many benefits when it comes to to fitness. Literally, pretty much anything you can think of, there's a benefit of that from fitness. So like, if your sleep's bad, fitness fixes it. If your diet's bad, fitness. If if your hormones are off, you can fix it through fitness. If your mood is off, everything. Your energy levels. Fitness, you would think working out would destroy your energy levels, that it would make you tired. But I promise you, it actually has the opposite effect. Yeah, you may be a little tired after your workout, but once you consistently do this over time, it's going to boost your, your energy over time. You'll see. Just start doing it, and you'll feel more awake and more lively like throughout the day when, when, you, do, when you consistently work out. Also, it'll boost your metabolism. That's the main thing with, with weight loss. We want to boost our metabolism. Yeah, if you don't know what metabolism is, I mean, you can give it a quick Google search. It basically is what controls how you break down food. So, like, if you have a high metabolism, you're going to burn a lot of calories throughout the day. If you don't have a high metabolism, you're going to kind of hold on or store those extra calories. And that's why people tend to hold on to more fat than others because they have either a low metabolism or high. Main idea with, with fitness is you want to boost that metabolism and working out, holding extra muscle, putting on muscle. Will increase that metabolism so that's kind of how you want to go about it it's kind of how you want to do it like boosting metabolism is going to be good for people that want to build muscle and it's also going to be good for people that want to lose weight so that's probably the main thing you want to focus on when starting your fitness journey don't get too caught up on all the different workouts all the different fad diets that you can do don't worry about all that stuff if i had one piece of advice i would just say get started like just do it just go to the gym it don't matter what you do how you do it at first. You just need to make yourself go to the gym or you just need to make yourself go work out if you're gonna do it at home. So like once you start that daily habit, or not not necessarily daily, but once you get in a weekly habit of working out, 
it becomes a lot more sustainable. You kind of put it into your room, make it a non-negotiable. Say, I'm going to work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You better work out that Monday, Wednesday, Friday because it's going to help you. Like it, It's not going to hurt you. Working out is never going to hurt you unless you like get injured because you're doing something the wrong way, which you should learn how to properly lift before you go in there and start doing a bunch of weight anyway. So that's how we can kind of steer away from the whole injury. With that being said, though, you're still probably going to get injured at some time in your fitness journey. So that's just kind of part of life. So you just got to have to go with it. You got to, you're going to, you're going to have hiccups. So you got to keep going and work on it, things like that. Also, another thing to help with improving just overall health is being flexible. You want to increase like your flexibility, just doing simple everyday tasks, bending over, picking up things, scratching your back. Like you need to be flexible to do all these things. If you don't do it, then you'll lose it. So you need to put your body in these stretched positions so that you can maintain that over time. Because if not, you're going to shorten up. Like your muscles shorten up if you don't use them. So that's why they tell you to stretch because you stretch them back out. So that's another important thing when it comes to just fitness in general. Also, drink water. If you're not drinking water, what are you doing? Your body literally runs off of water. I don't know the exact statistic, but I think your body is made up of like 70 something percent water, maybe 80. I'm not sure. It's something, it's like a ridiculous high number. So if you're not replenishing your water in your body, then like your body's not going to properly function. And this is probably, if you're not drinking water, it's probably why you're gaining weight. It's probably why you're not sleeping good. It's probably why you're moody all the time. It's probably why you have low energy levels. Like it's crazy how much just drinking water can do. If you're overweight and you don't work out or do anything right now, literally just start drinking about two to three liters of water every day. And I promise you, you'll drop weight just from drinking water. It's just do it. I promise you'll lose weight. Now, if you're a really skinny guy, you're not going to just build a bunch of muscle because you're drinking water all of a sudden. It don't, it don't work like that. So sorry. If I had to give you one cardio tip, just walk. Like do low intensity cardio, like walking or getting on like an elliptical. I mean, maybe not even elliptical, get on like a bike or something. You got to do nothing crazy. People think you got to go outside run sprints or run 17 miles to lose some weight that's not the case just go for a 20 minute walk every day and do that consistently and drink water and you'll be fine you'll see progress i promise all right i'm just been kind of rambling on for a little bit i don't really know what else to talk about so i'm on the i'm in the pot podcast i'm in the live stream right now uh appreciate y'all tuning in checking it out like i said it's my first live stream so we just kind of playing around with it we're going to see what we can do with it. I'm, I'm going to try to do some more of these. I really suck at public speaking, so I really I want to get on here to make myself do it to get better. So that's kind of the whole goal of doing it live. Uh, we are going to post this up a, as a podcast, though, at the end. So appreciate y'all coming and checking me out and hanging out with me. Uh, I had a blast. I enjoy getting on here and talking to y'all about fitness because that's what I, I, I like to do. It's my hobby. So I like to kind of spread out other people. So hopefully I'll impact somebody and they can kind of incorporate fitness in their life, too, so they can get something out of it and see the benefits of it and see why people actually do fitness like on a regular basis. Cause once you get hooked to it, you'll, you'll see why. Yeah. Thank y'all for hanging out. If you check out the podcast, screenshot it, post it on your store for me, share it to people, listen to it, do whatever you want to do with it. Leave me a, leave me a review, a five star review. <laughs> but yeah, y'all have a good day. Peace, love and protein. I'll see y'all later.